is set in the Democratic Republic of Congo in the rainforest in the Atori region. And um, it's a story of Mama Nadi, who's an incredibly shrewd businesswoman who runs a brothel. And she's willing to do anything in order to survive. And that means that she both protects and exploits young women who've been marginalized by their communities. I became interested in 2004 um, in the impact of armed conflicts on women in particular and I'd been tracking the, the conflict in the Democratic Republic of Congo one because it, it was um, it was um, a story that wasn't being told by the mainstream media I'd had an interest in Congo for a really long time and um, as, a, as a, a result I found myself drawn to that particular situation When I first went to the region, I, I went to Uganda in 2004, I really didn't know the extent to which women were being exploited, but I knew that something was happening. And um, thanks in part to Amnesty International, I was able to gather a large number of Congolese refugee women who told stories that came as an absolute revolution, revelation to me. Um, so it was, it was a combination of both re research and discovery. One of the, the things that I um, s say repeatedly is that I want to sustain the complexity of the region, which means looking at both the, the, the beauty and the horror. And unfortunately, a lot of the women that I interviewed were forced to do incredibly compromised things in order to survive. And we know that a lot of women who are exploited, sexually exploited, end up being doubly exploited because they go into industries um, um, like um, prostitution. I was very surprised by the initial public reactions to the play. I wasn't sure whether they would necessarily engage with the uh, subject matter because it's about rape and it's about warfare and by virtue of that it's incredibly dark. But I think that um, I've infused the piece with a lot of humor and a lot of humanity which gives um, an audience an entrance way and they're, they're, w they're willing to engage with some of the more difficult topics because it, it's, um, it's not just about the horror. We've been very, very fortunate both in, in um, the UK and in the United States to get um, many members of the African community come to the, the play and I've been overwhelmed by the response, in particular by women and Congolese women who've come and seen the work and said, oh thank you for telling this story. I think that it's one. It's really important to tell the story of of African women. I feel that they've been neglected in the mainstream me media, and they have really vital, beautiful, difficult, complicated stories that need to be told. And also, I think it's really in important to tell this particular story because women in Congo are being exploited in incredibly large numbers, and for whatever reason, by and large, the mainstream media is neglecting that story. It's interesting, I tell this story often, after I interviewed the women, um, it, 
the Congolese refugee women, I took a picture with a group of them and when I got home I tried to find myself in the picture and I realized, oh, I can't tell <laughs> where I am. I was sort of right in, in the back and I thought I'm telling a universal story. I'm not just telling their story. I'm telling my story, but for the grace of God it could have been me. When I f interviewed the first refugee women, I w um, was completely overwhelmed. I knew that what I was going to hear was going to be incredibly difficult to, um, to digest, but I was shocked by the extent to which they had been sexually violated and the brutality in which they had en endured. But the thing that I left with was that these were women who were incredibly resilient and were able to access their smiles um, very readily. I don't write plays for, for a message. I'm telling a story and what I hope that the audience leaves with is a better understanding of the situation. I hope that they feel compelled to engage with the subject matter and that when they leave they want to read more about what's going on in the Congo. But I don't know that I would say I have a message because I'm not a message playwright. I don't feel that I could um, sort of summarize this piece in, in one word because I think that it's an incredibly complicated st story that's multi-layered and multifaceted and I'm trying to tell a story of women, I'm trying to tell a story of Congo and I think that if I were to use one word it would ultimately be reductionist. I feel really blessed to have the cast that we have here in the UK because the majority of them are from Africa and so what they bring is a level of, of authenticity and a love for these characters who in some ways are familiar even if they're not um, people that they would necessarily encounter in their day-to-day -day lives. Oh